All right, before we get going this morning, we still need to feed the animals. Penelope, what are you making? Oh, I'm making um, oatmeal for the chicks. Three greens. Oats, yogurt, and water. Yep. All right. You're so excited, Dad, see? You know you're coming with some treats? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's see. Hold on, I know you got that excited. Okay, let me feed it to you. They love it so much. Here, I'll put it like that so that you don't tip it. All right, guys, I guess you guys don't get yogurt. Oh, it's gone already, Dad. It's already gone? Yeah. All right. Hey, it's okay. All right, guys, big day on the homestead today. We're gonna be moving out these Freedom Rangers, these 30 Freedom Rangers out on grass, take them off the heat lamp because it's getting warmer now. And we're gonna pick up some more feed. And it's gonna be more feed than we picked up last time, which is 50, 50 pound bags of feed for our pigs and for more chickens that we have coming. But first we need to feed these pigs. We can't let them waiting any longer. Hey brothers, I'm coming. <coughs> Oh, hold your horses. Here we go. All right, I still need to fix this. And then also, it's almost time to move these pigs out again on grass. And I hope to do that very soon. Sometimes I like to check how hot these piles get. These little compost corner piles. So that's about 80 in there. I noticed they stopped kind of pooping in this corner. I mean, they still do, but not as much. And they moved on to this corner. But this was a little bit higher and I feel like it's been breaking down slowly as it gets hotter. Because here, we're a little bit hot here or hotter. And here we're almost at 100 on this end. And that could be because maybe they're pooping more in this corner. But yeah, but once the pigs are in our freezer, then we could come back in here with some water. Throw some water on this and then that should start really breaking down. And that's what we're gonna create our compost. And then we gotta turn it, we gotta mix it. Bernice, good morning Bernice. I'm taking a dust bath. I'll come back later to give them more feed, but they've been feeling more fuller, I think, because we've been fermenting their feed or soaking their feed. I'm gonna get this one. This is for the pigs. Been soaking their feed also. What's up, brothers? You finished your feed already? Oh man. All right, I'll come back later. Hopefully I have some scraps for you. All right, hang in there. Opening up the Rain's Greenhouse. We have some seeds in here still. 
that we need to transplant. Because um, if we don't open that up, it's going to get really hot in here. And it's, the weather's been nice. It's been warming up. Oh, Penelope, did you make breakfast? Yeah. What? Penelope's hooking it up this morning. Some eggs, some fruit. What is that? Syrup? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Welcome. All right, well, I was going to use that to transport the chickens, but I don't think that's going to work. They're going to pop out. We're going to try a bucket. Try a bucket. Hopefully. You want to cut half or all of it? You got it? Yeah. <laughs> Dry rat. Dry chickies. Oh, this is candy. Good job, Penelope. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to utilize this hill this year. We've never did anything with this part of the hill. Uh, it's been just always grass. And so we're going to run these Freedom Ranger meat chickens on them. All right, so the chickens are in there. I want to put half in there, half in here, which is 15 each. But we also need uh, a water and a feeder. And so I still have to do those, but um, we'll get those guys buttoned up here soon. All right, so last time we got 40, 40, 50 pound bags of feed. And this time we're getting 50, 50 pound bags of feed. So all these are full. Three, four, five. I have two over there. Seven barrels of feed are full. And this is our pig feed and our broiler feed and our egg layer feed. And so... We're going to do all this feed. Well, rather than getting more barrels, which we would need another six barrels, we're just going to use these pallets. We're going to put the pallet right in the middle, stack it with feed, put a tarp on it. Not ideal. Um, eventually, mice and rats will probably find it and get into it. So I'm hopefully we'll use it faster than they can find it. <laughs> Yeah, I want to put the pellets here. Really, the only place we have is this spot, so it won't get, it can't get wet. I don't know if we need to extend these pellets out. If that's going to even be enough for 50. So I think 40 bags are for a pallet typically, so we're getting 50. So it might end up being like this high. Well, remember, <laughs> we're leaving some in the car. And then hopefully we can fill some of these barrels. I don't want to leave any in the car. <laughs> I don't, I've done that before and it's just going to get moldy in there. Yeah, you're right. It gets moldy. And that's another thing. My car, last time, you guys see my car. We're loaded down. I've got a bike in here. <laughs> I've got more feet in here. Oh boy, I'm loaded down. And so I'm going to have to make two trips. So maybe you fit 25 bags and 25 bags. I don't know, it's gonna be a, a day of just back and forth. Woo! I just loaded up some 28 bags of pig feed. Now I gotta hurry up, take it back home, and then unload, and then come back here and get some of that chicken feed. So I only have a couple hours of a window to go back and forth to pick up both bags of feed and fill up my truck. All right, I need to unload. I picked up this feed from our feed co-op and that's in Marshall, North Carolina. I'll leave a link down in the show notes where I did a video on the feed co-op and it explains how you guys can be a part of this co-op if you are in the Asheville area. And Trish, who's in charge of the co-op said that this was the most feed that she has ever ordered 
at one time. More people are growing their own food and farmers are crazy busy right now. I was speaking to a couple of them right now at the co-op and they're just super swamped, the most busiest they've ever been and that's really great. All right, let's go get some more feed. More broiler feed. Let's do it. All right, just made it home. We need to unload. Need to feed these. Need to feed these chickens, and then move their chicken tractor for the second time. We have an empty barrel here. This one's almost empty, but we still have some feed in there, but we want to fill this up with bags while we have it empty. All right, so Lorraine's filling up a little bit of there, a little bit of there. <laughs> we well, guys, this is uh, you're you're experiencing or you're watching the very oh beginnings of of growth here on our homestead and growing uh, in real life. Like this is it. Like we we were not expecting to buy this much feed ever, um, and just to be here, like like this growth that 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 we're experiencing is real like this is this is it this is us trying to figure out how to grow you know without you know uh, maxing out a credit card or you know like like we need a shed and we need other things to house our feed but we're trying to do this bare minimums and just uh, figuring it out so we could fit so this these three bags and this whole pallet right here is all our pig feed but I have a feeling we're going to be saying in five, ten years maybe, we're going to be saying, man, remember when we <laughs> picked up all those individual bags of feed and we, we loaded everything by hand? Man, those were the good old days. <laughs> because we are. This is the good old days, for real. Now we're going to see how this goes. I mean, they are exposed. The only thing I'm really worried about is if they get wet or um, mice or, or rats or anything like that. But... Um, I hope this works. I really don't want to buy more barrels right now. But yeah, guys, this is it. <laughs> this is all our feed, rest of our feed for the entire year for all our, our meat that, we, that we're raising here. Pigs, chickens. And this also represents so much more than that. It represents growth. But I'm super beat right now. <laughs> we are incredibly tired lifting up all those 
heavy 2,500 pounds of feed. If you have not, please hit the subscribe button, like these videos, comment on these videos, give us a thumbs up, and check out this video right here because I think you'll love it.